Hi, I'm Bob Swirsel. This is my trip to Vancouver, British Columbia. Enjoy! Early in the morning, I headed through the fog to Seattle's King Street Station to catch the train. I brought my bike with me, and it was a simple process. Add the bike option when purchasing your ticket, get a tag from the baggage counter at the train station, and take your bike to the baggage car when boarding. The scenery from the Amtrak Cascades train was gorgeous. Arriving in Vancouver, I biked around a little bit before heading to Stanley Park. In Stanley Park, I went on Talese Tour's Spoken Treasures Tour, led by indigenous guides who taught me a lot about the Coast Salish peoples who have lived in this area long before colonial settlers arrived. After checking into my hostel, I explored some of downtown Vancouver that evening. On my second day, I took transit to the Nikkei Heritage Museum and Cultural Center to learn about Japanese-Canadian history. There are unfortunately many parallels in how the governments of Canada and the United States treated their Japanese residents during World War II. For lunch, I headed to the Crystal Mall, where I was overwhelmed with choices for delicious food. I then had some fun riding SkyTrain. First taking the Expo line all the way to its end in Surrey. Then hopping onto the Millennium line where I enjoyed the front seat view. On day three of my trip, I headed to Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. It was fun crossing the bridge and exploring the forest attractions.
I next headed into North Vancouver. I took the sea bus across Burrard Inlet back into downtown Vancouver. Back in Vancouver, I headed to the Van Dusen Botanical Garden. While I was walking through the gardens, a hailstorm passed through. That night, I headed into the Gaberhood along Davies Street. On day four of my trip, I headed on a bike ride around town. First, I did a full loop around Stanley Park. Then, I headed across the Lionsgate Bridge. It's a lot higher up than I was expecting. Once I was in North Vancouver, the skies cleared and the sun came out. After crossing the Iron Workers Memorial Bridge, I explored Vancouver's extensive bikeways, which are similar to neighborhood greenways, but feature many more traffic diverters. On my last day, I biked around False Creek on the Seaside Bikeway and visited Granville Island.
I headed into Vancouver's Chinatown for one last delicious meal. I visited Vancouver Central Library, which is massive, containing nine floors of resources. Eventually, it was time to head back to Pacific Central Station to take the Amtrak Cascades train back to Seattle. Thank you for joining me on my trip to Vancouver, British Columbia. I had a great time and I look forward to returning. If you want to see more of my content, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time!